guys and welcome back to my channel where I show the most profitable strategies. If you're new here and you think that trading is too hard for you, it's wrong because my strategies are very simple even for beginners. And now let's start our trading session. Go to my Telegram channel by the link below the video. To do this, open it in the app. Join the group and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any useful information every day. Join my VIP group, just go to the dialogue with me and write plus VIP. So we are ready on the side. These are the consumers I picked up. The starting balance is $177. The time frame of the first trade is 5 minutes and we will open the trade for the entire balance. And we move on to our first consumer. And this consumer sits us will open for an increase as we see by the fractal that the lot yeah it was updated down by opening our deal uh here the travel gap we'll see also by our side that it's a little closer to the oversold area and now the chart will move up let me tell you more about the fractal Fractal indicator is an indicator that was introduced by the famous trader Bill Williams. Traders often use fractals to determine the direction in which the price will develop, supporting resistance levels, as well as placing a stop loss order. On the candlestick chart, this indicator looks like up and down arrows. An up fractal occurs when there's a series of at least five consecutive candles in which two lower highs are in front of and behind the highest high. For purchases on the candle highs are of interest up fractals. For sales, the lows of candles are of interest down fractals. And the same candlestick can be both down fractal and an up fractal. As uh, the default fractal is a flat candle formation, you must wait for the fifth candle to close before making any trading decisions. This is due to the fact that the price may change during the formation of the fifth candle. The number of periods, that is, the number of candles used to build the indicator can be changed in the settings. As the periods increase, the signals will become rarer and vice versa. The fractals indicator is best used on the longer time frames. Let me tell you more. In fact, every single simple one of the simplest indicators that I said and before opening it's not to look at which fractal was updated. If the fractal was moved down, then the chart will move up. If the up fractal was updated, then the chart will move down. Everything is simple. And let's wait for the completion of our deal. Our first trade is up. Good profit is $150. And we move on to the next concept. Pile. And this concept is absolutely suitable. Let's reduce the time frame to 4 minutes and we will open a deal for the entire balance. And we will open for an increase as we see that the fractal was updated down by the fractal. That means that the chart will move up. We also see by our side that it's directed closer to the oversold area, directed upwards. That means that the chart will move up. Let me tell you more about our RSI. Our RSI relative strength index is a technical analysis indicator that shows the ratio of positive and negative changes in the price of a financial instrument. Our site is one of the most widely used technical indicators. Investors love to use it because it's relatively easy to calculate and free from many of the significant drawbacks of other oscillators, such as the influence of all data or the complexity of interpretation. At the same time, our site makes it possible to use several 
types of signals sufficiently allowing the investors to visually track price trends and reversals. Let me show you in more detail on the chart how to use it. As you can see, we have three bands. The upper one means that the oversold, the oversold area, the lower oversold area, and the middle line. In fact, the middle line does not mean anything. We need to focus on the upper and lower areas. Mm. When I see that the indicator breaks through the overbought area, it will move up for some time. But then the price roll back will definitely occur and the indicator along with the chart will rush down. That will be our sell signal. It also works in the opposite area. When the indicator breaks through the oversold area, but when the indicator does not go beyond the boundaries of the areas, then just look at the moment. If the indicator is directed up, then the chart will move up. It's, if it's directed down, then the chart will be directed uh, down. Let's wait for the, for the LT close. Our second trade full of up good properties, $262. And we move on to our last concept plan. This concept is suitable. We reduce the time from 21 minutes and open a deal for the entire balance. Uh, open deal up. As we see on the fractal that the fractal was updated up, and we see that more and five candles have passed the fractal. Uh, the chart will go up when this candle is formed and the next one begins to form. So on our side we see that it's directed upwards towards the overbought area. There may be a breakout but in any case the indicator will move up and let's see. And our last trade closed up good properties for $178. Good. And if you have any questions, you can write in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.